Today I'm going to share five different spring type meal ideas with some fresh ingredients, some which include asparagus, some herbs, some greens, and some rhubarb for a dessert. The first meal is just a very simple layered lasagna with some roasted asparagus. So for the lasagna, how I do it, and this is how I grew up doing it, my mom taught me this way. I brown the hamburger, put some onion in it, add a pasta sauce or marinara sauce, and you can use your own homemade. I use some store-bought organic brand, I think just great value. And then I put a little bit of sauce on the bottom of my 9 by 13 pan, and then I use some oven-ready noodles. That way you don't have to pre-cook your noodles. It makes it a very quick meal then that way, and hands off when it's cooking, of course. So you put your layers together, your noodles, and then your meat sauce. And then I use cottage cheese. You could use ricotta or you could use a mix of both. Then I had some grated mozzarella that I grated. And sometimes I'll put Parmesan cheese on there too, but I waited for the last layer to do the Parmesan. So you just layer that. I used a pound of hamburger, so it was only enough for two layers. If you use a pound and a half or two, you could get more. Of course, you'd have to increase your sauce ratio as well. And so then that was easy to have done. I actually did that in the morning and put it in the fridge so it was ready to put in 45 minutes before we ate at about 350 degrees. Now for the asparagus, we often go ditch picking. So in this area, I don't know if you guys have that where you're from, but we have ditch asparagus. And so it's a thing to go and drive around and find the ditch asparagus. And this time I did not, but you definitely can this time of year find a ditch asparagus and it was so good, so fresh. I just roasted it with some avocado oil and then I just put some salt on it. Sometimes I put garlic powder or garlic on it and then some lemon juice, but asparagus is so good and it's definitely a very seasonal vegetable. The next meal was a Mexican night and so we had Spanish rice with salad and so salads of course this time of year greens are coming in you get your lettuces because of like cooler weather your spinaches to make your fresh salad but for the main dish is spanish rice this is a dish that i grew up with again however i altered it a little bit to how i cook a bit more so i used some home frozen tomatoes and i actually had some home frozen corn that i used later i used some brown rice a cup of that and a cup of chicken stock homemade chicken broth i should say or bone broth and just some seasonings like chili powder garlic powder of course you gotta throw in some onion onions and some garlic if you got the time so i roasted the onion and garlic and some avocado oil you can use olive oil coconut oil in my cast iron and then i put in the tomatoes and the chicken stock and then the brown rice and I literally just let that simmer together until the rice was cooked. So it was long grain rice. You could use instant if you needed to, to quicken up the time. And just let that simmer for about 40 minutes. And then I added some chicken into it and some cheese on top. Now you could bake this at the end if you want. I didn't and it still tasted delicious with lots of good flavors. You could put some fresh cilantro on top. There's lots of additions you can do to this meal. And like I said, then serve it with a fresh garden salad. All right, meal number three, we had quiche. Now I get some farm fresh eggs from a local friend where we are at here in the Midwest. We are having troubles finding eggs because we are having in store. Anyways, we're having um, an avian flu went through all of the facilities in this Midwest area. So thankfully I have a local friend who has farm fresh eggs. So I made a quiche with a butter crust that I actually had in the freezer that I pulled out. So I just re-rolled that crust out after I had it in a ball, put it in a nine inch pie plate, and then I just did my normal quiche slash egg bake mixture, which is like eight eggs, some milk till it looks good to consistency, some chopped veggies, you could go simple and leave out the vegetables. Then I grated some cheese and then I went out to my garden and clipped some chives to put in there for extra seasonings, extra flavor. You can do what you wish. You could add fresh garden spinach to use that up. 
So um, to each his own with a quiche, right? And then I baked it at 375 for about 30 minutes until it was golden brown and not um, runny in the middle, of course. And then we had smoothies along with that as well. So I just used some frozen fruit. It was a extremely hot spring day and our AC was out. So that was part of why smoothie was very refreshing. So I just used some berries, some mango, some banana. I threw in some peanut butter, a plant protein powder. I often throw in some rice cauliflower to throw in some vegetables, some milk. And there was our smoothie and there was our supper. Served the quiche with some salsa, some ketchup, some hot sauce. And there you have it. That was meal number three. Meal number four was ribs with some roasted sweet potatoes and some coleslaw. So I made the coleslaw system, some cabbage I had and grated some carrots in and then made my own sauce. I usually use yogurt, you can use mayonnaise. I actually didn't have yogurt this time, so I did do an avocado mayo and put some seasoning, some lemon juice, some salt, pepper. You could also put some fresh dill in there if you've got some dill coming up already in your garden. And then with the ribs, I had them thawing in the fridge and then I just slow baked them at 275 for about three, three and a half hours. Then my um, homemade barbecue sauce ketchup mixture I put over top of that. And some of these recipes I used from other sources, so I will put those in the description box for you. And we also had some cheesecake on uh, that night because it was my husband's birthday. So I just made a big cheesecake for him, a plain cheesecake for him, and made a berry sauce on the stove, which is some frozen berries. So if you had strawberries fresh in your garden or mulberries, we have those in our area to make a mulberry sauce. That would be really delicious too. Our last meal was some grilled pork chops with some sauteed zucchini slash summer squash and some baked homemade potato chips. So I got some pork chops in the fridge with a rub on them about five hours or six hours before my husband grilled them on our grill and I love his grilling because we have a charcoal grill and the flavor is just incredible. The meat was so tender and juicy and it was just delicious, very delicious. And so then while he was making that, I was sauteing some summer squashes in my cast iron skillet with some avocado oil. And the thing for them not to stick is make sure you have enough oil. And so you let them cook quite a while before you actually flip them and rotate them. And then I threw some onion in there. And when it's finally done, I grated some Parmesan cheese over top. And then with the potato chips, I just sliced some potatoes and some sweet potatoes, and then I put some cooking spray on the pan, and then some cooking spray on top of the potatoes to crisp them up a little bit, and some salt. And the thing to keep them crisp as well is to bake them about 400, and then rotate them halfway through like the 20 or 30 minutes time that it takes. Rotate them once or twice, honestly, because otherwise they'll get a little mushy on one side. That's one thing I found out to work for me. So that was our fifth meal and it was my birthday. So we had a rhubarb coffee cake and it honestly was so delicious, so moist. It is definitely rhubarb season here in South Dakota. So I got some rhubarb from our neighbor who I usually get it from anyways and made this delicious moist cake. It is also really moist because it calls her sour cream or Greek yogurt and it was just very good served with a scoop of ice cream or some homemade whipped cream and so we had desserts a couple times this week so that's how it is sometimes when you've got birthdays to celebrate but those were our meals for this week and we had some delicious spring seasonal veggies along with it so hope you're inspired to eat seasonally it's something i'm continuing to work at and hope you can make some of these meals as well. Have a blessed and wonderful day.